And the watch continues, Vault Dwellers. Let's see what is in store today. Today being day three. Day three. Back to work, back to work, back, back to work. You know, why have those girls hey, Henry? got killed yeah. by the other girl um, on the radio? What do you look like? Creepy. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Knew it. Ooh, uh. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Yes. Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Short shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Dresses. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. I uh, always look nice. Schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. <laughs> but um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas. Some way. Actually. Just, um... It's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Awkward. Hmm. Uh, pretty thick Bushy beard. Bushy beard out oh. here. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. <sighs> don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Yes. Look, I yes, don't know how did. to describe eyes. Shut happy up. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. <gasps> you get what you need? Is this my toolbox? Absolutely. Did I get my toolbox? I got my toolbox. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, uh, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Only I can stop I forest fires. I am glad fires. to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. That was the shortest day ever. Oh. Sandwich on top of the rocks. Sandwich on the rocks. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yes, I am. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were One supposed me. to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then it was you. you're probably the last person Delilah to have seen them. kidnapped him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, no, no. Report it. Otherwise, we're hiding shit. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. We were the last yeah. people to see them. Well, I was. Uh, you were a creepy voice on the radio. I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. 
All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Hmm. What the hell? It's just like... Henry? Henry, wake up. No. I refuse. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. What? Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Girls oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. to sleep then mm, okay Jules Delilah seems nice mm-hmm sure bye baby how does she talk to you am I actually the one that went crazy oh I went to the supply drop before by accident. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, Cow. remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. I'ma take everything. She loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Yeah. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Wait, what? I'm just gonna run in this random direction and hope it's so. Right. Like two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Okay, so I was hallucinating. <sighs> I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Ugh, Javier. He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. A driller. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. Wait, where's my subtitles? Sorry. Instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for <sighs> some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Hmm. Wow, it's jumping days. I suppose this is how the story progresses, because not every day is going to be action-packed. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Wow. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And 
she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. I wonder how much... He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. I wonder what sort of effect it has. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Skinny dipping. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. I'm not touching that. Yes. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Oh, fine. I was exploring in that time. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Mm, such a peaceful game. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but this is getting really weird. nice. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk. Got these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm betting it would do that. It would still give me the option until I eventually. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that she keeps calling me Henry now. Hank stupid. Unless you're McCoy. Hank McCoy. The beast. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Wait, where? What the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on at the lake what's up someone has written down what we said to each other have been saying that doesn't make any sense uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you not in the same way no way wait hold on something's out here Henry I'm worried you didn't find and eat any 
mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why Shit's I just called you that. Way. Till turning my head to try and hear, but I'm turning the source of the sound. I probably went too far now. Telling you that creepy man that I saw on the first freaking night. If I'm right, I freaking called it. And then everyone will bow down to me. It's the one who knows how it is. We just have to find strange noise. Doesn't help me go wandering around. Back towards the lake. Yeah, I'm going back towards the lake. Probably like walk past it already. Towards a canyon. Okay. Okay, so now I'm near it. Just had to step away for a sec. An idiot. <gasps> Henry, are you there? What the hell? What happened, Henry? I holy hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's it's Javier. What's station? I, 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 I don't know. It's that burned down place. the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with. Initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. I've been hallucinating a okay. little bit. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. 
I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Oh, I'm going to go. Taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. I'll be on them like a spider monkey. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Guess I'll just shove it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Well, I can kind of see that it's... Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And you know what type of guy those are? I'm going to go ask them a question. Wait, am I even going the right way? Oh goodness. Yeah, I think this is the right way. What the way is the map? I bet you at one point we're going to be climbing a rope like this and someone's just going to cut it. So remember, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and if you can, why don't you hit subscribe now.